What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got me uh, got me a friend today. He doesn't know what he's doing. Neither do I. But today I'm working on the front end of the truck. Um, I don't have any parts yet, but uh, what I can do is go ahead and uh, fabricate some brackets for the top of the bucket and also the cutout for the rear of the bag. So that's what we're working on today. Uh, probably not going to get too much done other than that. But at least it's it's uh, something we can get knocked out. So whenever the uh, pipe for the control arms get here, knock that out, put that on here, and uh, off and running with that. But anyhow, I'm gonna start out. Uh, I think I, before I mentioned probably about 20 inches from top of the bucket to top of the axle will be our ride height. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I think this is about a foot how it's expanded right now. I think what I'll do is make about a four four or five inch bracket up top and on the bottom we're gonna have about a three and a half um three and a half above the axle where the where this bag will mount to so make about a four or five inch drop up here and then also the bag mount which will give us you know what what we the correct spacing we need for this i'm gonna cut out some uh some circles we have this here uh spacer mount to kind of give us a uh a rough idea of what will fit up in the uh, bucket and uh, I made this here the other uh, the other day just a nut some half inch uh, round stock in there drilled a hole set screw that way we can cut some circles with the uh, with the torch here um, and uh, anyhow cut everything out a quarter inch plate and uh, start fabbing up some stuff drilling some holes getting everything fitted up that way uh, like I said, whenever everything else gets here, we can get rolling on that. So let's get started and we'll see where the day goes. Thank you. 
got these finished up. Nothing special here. Um, looking about roughly uh, four and a quarter overall length. Still hot, hot, hot. But uh, those will work. I, already, I test fit one of them. I got tacked up and the other good to go there. So now the other thing will be to, uh, all I got to do with the other one is take the bottom hole or the bottom plate, clean up the edges and uh, drill a hole through it. And these will be done and ready for, uh, for the next thing. So, and yeah, I don't think, I don't think I can do much more, but we'll see what happens. So, got the, uh, mounts and everything in here, got that bottom plate drilled, and, uh, just on there for lineup purposes later but anyhow <clears throat> that's what that looks like in there um, now since I'm obviously running a bag my shock mount is gonna come either uh, you know it's gonna have a separate mount on top either come off the front and go down or off the rear I don't know exactly yet but anyway that's what that looks like got the other side on as well so a little more light over here kind of see and for these pieces I just used some uh, six inch pipe cut up and for the radius and all that but pretty happy with how that turned out so next up on the list will be to wait till uh, get the rest of the parts here when you start working on the uh, control arms so that's gonna wrap it up for this video I know there wasn't a lot going on but uh, say thanks for watching and uh, I'll blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, and uh, once again, see you guys on the next one.